Thanks for staying with us. Uh, you are still on to Good Morning Nigeria on the network service of the NTA. Up next on the program is Newspaper Review. All right, um, it's time for newspaper review, and I uh, have the singular honor and pleasure to welcome Chukwudi Okudu Baja. You could as well add prestige, <laughs> <laughs> as if you're introducing God's lieutenant. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> will get you everywhere. Who knows? Nowhere. So will get you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Debo, how are you doing? I'm doing great, good my morning. brother. Victor, good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Just see you well, welcome. Well, let's get straight to business. I have two papers here, and I'll begin with the new telegraph. And it leads with the headline, Seized Aircraft, French Court Lacks Jurisdiction Over Matter. That's according to Professor Sagi. As one sovereign can't preside in judgment over another, says Nigeria being kicked about like football globally. Chinese companies action insulting. Urges FG to stop guaranteeing subnationals as states not reliable. Finally, Chinese firm can't attach assets belonging to Nigeria in judgment debt. That's according to Adebayo. That story is on pages 2 and 11. And above that uh, major story, Obi to Tinubu tell Nigerians the age cost of presidential debt. And then beside it, on pages, of course, that story is on page four. And beside it, on pages two and six, leave NLC president alone, go after bandits, oil thieves, Ugo Chinere tells police. Nigeria at crossroads, that's according to Pengasen. And then on page nine, competence, not tribe, will decide winner of Edo Guba poll. That's according to Labour candidate Akbata. And above the nameplate, as this tiny strip up there, but not so the story. FG hinges aviation sector's survival on thriving airports. You can get details of that on page seven. And um, at the bottom of the uh, front page of the New Telegraph, PDP crisis, I can't be intimidated. No one can pressure me to resign. That's according to Damagun, describes Clark's criticism as sentimental. I'll remain in PDP to fight on, Wiki says. That story is on pages two and four. And uh, something related to what we are discussing later today, FG ramps up food production to keep inflation at lowest ebb. Expert warns of prolonged food crisis, prefers solution, pages three and 28. Okay, let's, uh, and then this one we have to take. Police launch rescue operation for abducted medical students. FG using obsolete mapping to tackle insecurity. That's according to Sovios. Pages 4 and 29. All the stories uh, on New Telegraph this morning seem to be spread across pages. Well, let's go to the blueprint, which leads uh, with this story. How 30 unknown gunmen, kidnappers, were killed in Enugu, that's according to ESNG. Abductors hide hostages in poultry farm. That story begins on the front page and ends on page 8. Okay? Wiki declares pack and pay scheme in FCT illegal. That story is on page 15. Banks adopt strategies to meet 1.29 trillion, 1 .29 trillion naira capital, recapitalization target. That one is on page 21. And in sports, AFCON qualifiers, Super Eagles Open Camp September. That is on page 32. I think we've read uh, a number of the others um, on the front page of the New Telegraph, the Damagum story, Wiki, and the rest of them. Demola. Okay, uh, thank you, Victor. And I have the leadership uh, newspaper with me. 
and above the name plates, Kekere Akun takes over as CGN today. The details of the story can be found on page 8. Community mourns as bandit mother Sariki Gobi. Uh, the details of that story is on page 6. Then we have uh, trending police death of man who fasted 19 days. And uh, more trouble as Chinese investor seizes Nigeria's houses in UK. Details of that story can be found on page 7. We won't leave PDP for vampires. Damugo Wiki fights back. Nine days after, pressure mounts for rescue of 20 abducted medical students. Details of the story can be found on page 7. Then uh, we have the contract front. Kano LG boss, Pamsek, orders arrested. Nigeria ranks sixth highest at Sixth highest AI search interest in Africa. Details on page 24. Federal government launches national single window to boost trade. Details on page 23. Pack and pay scheme illegal in FCT. Details on page 16. Chooks. Thank you, Demola. Uh, but um, I am coming in, uh, you know, <coughs> rather sadly, as we receive reports that uh, gunman eventually killed um, uh, Sarkin Gubye, that, that, that's um, uh, of Bawa. It's a most unfortunate incident. Really? really. No death is inferior to another death. Mm -hmm. But when impunity is taken to the level of Isaki, Isaki being killed in captivity, while negotiations were on, to address the 60 million naira they were asking for, uh, you, you really have to get sad. Because what it means is that no one is safe. What happens when you kill a policeman, for instance? I tell you that is impunity of the highest order. Because the police would protect their own. So if you dare kill a policeman, you really are asking for an entire battalion of the force to come up to you wherever you're hiding. When you take it to killing uh, a Sariki as well, it almost ranks at the same level. The point I'm making is this. If you dare at that level, it means that those of us who are rabble there uh, <laughs> are indeed in trouble. So it tells the security forces that the job is far from done. Yeah, We it... must keep on working, not just the security forces, Whoever sees something should say something. It's really, really a sad development. It's it very sad. It's really, really very sad. It is very and sad. And also to uh, cap it uh, with the, it's, uh, uh, the med 20 med uh, abducted medical students. Exactly. They are still in captivity. Yes. We just pray for their safe you know, return because you, know, you never can predict what these kidnappers can do. Somebody could decide to send a devilish message. So, 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 I agree. So, 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 I, I, I so. think it calls for... Um, you know, looking again at the security situation by the security forces. They're because it's looking. not, it's everywhere. They're always looking. It's everywhere. You know that uh, recently in Imo, traditional rulers, I think, holding a meeting were just wiped out like that. And that wouldn't be the first. It wouldn't be the first. And so it happens over and over. Only a couple of days ago here in Abuja, we lost a very dear colleague, a member of this team. Uh, you know, to uh, gunpoint, uh, uh, knife point attack, yes. you know, which tells a sad story and something that um, really needs to be looked into. Urgent by attention. Those urgent urgent calls urgent for urgent, urgent attention. Yes, uh, the abducted medical students, of course, uh, are now a national headache, really, which really. we must take an effective analgesic for. A complete cure is needed. It is. Concerning it is, security it is. lapses here and there. You know, people now, you know, you know, live in fears. It, it says that you, 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 are, you, are, you are even afraid to travel from one state to the other. So you are just afraid. Ah, what if I travel by road? What will happen? It's become a situation of, oh, you mean anything could happen to me at any time? Yeah. So We know life is not assured. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, but it's becoming too unpredictable in terms of very, very how safe we are. And then, uh, uh, since you mentioned it, I've not talked about it. Our driver who was, um, I call that murdered. 
Yeah, I mean, the man deliberately pushed a knife into him. And do you know what irks me? The access where he was attacked has always been known to be notorious. Notorious. So I begin to ask, how much vigilance have we adopted towards that access? You know, uh, from that road to Wuse on the bridge, uh, 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 mosque area, the bush there with bananas and plantains in it. Is it we need to <laughs> monitor that portion. What's there are many this is in town. Yes. This is in town, close to places like the CBN. Yes. CBN somebody of somebody all says something, because you know, there are which could make the villagers music. like me a bit happy. Mm. He said, it is now safer mm. to stay outside of Abuja than to be in the metropolis. Mm. That oh, is yeah. not a good commentary. We are talking about the federal capital. Some people are saying it's now safer to be in the villages. Uh, and the not, place you call the central, no, bi central no. business it, district or it business It does area. not send a good message to those who are asking to come and invest here. It doesn't matter who got killed. Well, well there's this story I missed. I'm sure we don't have too much time. Prices of Gary, tomatoes, others drop in Anambra, Ebonyi, and Enugu. And that's what is on page six of uh, the blueprint. But I dare say Abuja too, because yesterday tomatoes that I bought for 1,005 uh, some time ago became 1,002. And yesterday, oh, I could get it for like 400 or so. You, you, you so, know, when the hunger, stri uh, stri hunger protest happened, I said to myself, as somebody I, I feel is a very competent hemsman, the president, uh, please, I'm not a sycophant. I mean what I say, it's my opinion is actually being, uh, you know, buffeted from all sides by circumstance. Because it's actually a time of leanness naturally in the year. You have got into a time of harvest. So those things that were coming as pangs of pain will drop naturally. Tomato is seasonal, the high prices of tomato. Uh, mm -hmm. But what actually happened in the case of tomato is that an ailment attacked you know, the, the tomatoes way up the north there. What the minister told us that, you know. So it is to be expected that prices will drop. Imagine some people now go uh, three cups of groundnut and um, groundnuts, uh, wash it down with a, a bottle of Coke, and uh, that's the meal for the day. They were, didn't have that luxury one and a half months ago when groundnuts were, were not yet out. So this is to be expected. But we now need to act and build on it so that we, we, we don't even have the hunger. Nigeria has no right to talk about being hungry. If only agriculture, the biggest foreign exchange earner potentially is tapped into effectively. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Chooks. Thank, uh, thank you for coming uh, on the program this morning. Thank you. So we hope to see you tomorrow again. By his uh, grace, I will be here. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Go break a leg. <laughs> yeah, boy. And I'll take a break now. Good morning, Nigeria continues. Stay with us. <laughs>